All right, just finished up the k &M radiator relocation kit and the k &M snorkel. Had uh, rubber down customs. Cut me a, a face plate. Did the doll sheep with the daddy wagon on it. It turned out, turned out really good. Put uh, 28 12 12 Outlaw MSTs in the front, metal in the back. Actually, I got about three PSI in them. They measure just over 27 inches. And they say they're say they're 12 inches wide, but they actually only measure about about 11 inches wide. So the rims themselves are STI 12 inch HDs B locks, and I think they got. Uh, I got five plus two offset. I got the little spacers in there for the shocks, just to take a little bit of the sag out of the shocks, give me a little more ground clearance. Put a two inch rocks riser on it. Put some different hand guards, hand guards off the XMR. I got it kind of, kind of canted back, that way it doesn't hit the snorkel. But snorkel wasn't too bad. It took me a little bit of time, but I was pretty patient with it. Didn't really get into too big of a rush. But all in all, I think it turned out pretty good with the. I think it looks like a pretty clean finish with the K&M snorkel and K&M. Rad relocate. Let's see here, what else did I do? I put the billet gas cap on there because uh, it's got the larger O-ring seal, which keeps all the dirt and dirt and water out if you're getting in real deep water. Wife got me a seat cover because the dog always jumping up on the seat and hopping into the back. Got uh, put this on it two years ago when I bought it. The Colpen gum boot on the side. I just took a piece of three quarter inch plywood, cut it on the inside, just so I could mount up my gum boot on the side. There, I really couldn't come up with any other way to mount it without building some kind of a rack or something. I got a quick detach bench bench seat that goes in the bed. For the kids and the wife when we go out riding. Push this forward here for a second. Ended up. I, well, I had problems with uh, the receiver hitch, the original receiver hitch I had. The actual bracket itself for the receiver hitch, it got bent to the side pulling a meat trailer. So I bought another receiver bracket I guess you call it and I put a uh, quarter inch plate inside on the top and the bottom and welded that all up hopefully it keeps it from bending side to side and then I also welded the receiver hitch itself in there because I got tired of hearing it slopping around while I'm pulling the meat wagon but also I can get down here real low I, uh, I ordered some ricochet skid plates and then I bought a sheet of eighth inch UHMW traced out all the skid plates before I put them on there cut all the cut all the UHMW tacked, tacked them on there and then I heated up the corners and went down the edges with a air riveter but it turned out pretty good it was a it was a lot of work but it should really help with less resistance in the mud and muskeg up here in Alaska. 
but again it was a lot of work but I think it's definitely going to pay for it or it's definitely going to be worthwhile so let's see here what else did I do keep sticking my finger in front of the camera there a little back view of the tires these tires are actually pretty cool I've never never ran these MSTs before but it was a serious circus getting them up here to Alaska again they will measure with only 3 PSI in them they only measure about just over 27 so there's still plenty of clearance in between them which I think is going to be about perfect because I didn't really want to go too big with this middle middle diff it's kind of a it's kind of a weak point on these six wheelers I meaning that it's a pass through diff so it's kind of a weak point but angle cut my fenders that way I had a little bit of clearance probably not really necessary but didn't really want them scraping when I was running down the trail so or hitting bumps or whatever yeah everything turned out pretty good give you another view of the front here the old sheep turned out really good give you the skid plates in the front Let's see if I can get down low here Pretty good view. Yeah, it should work pretty slick, man. I should be able to slide over about anything with this thing. This thing was a beast just with stock tires on it, so I can only imagine what it's going to do now. I bought it new in 2015, and I ain't really done much to it, so. Finally, I decided it was time. It was a good winter project. I've been working on it. I don't know, probably about four months off and on waiting for parts and stuff like that when I got time to dink around with it but anyways thanks for watching